Hey guys, welcome to Ancient Amnesia Podcast. I'm Josh, your host. Thanks for tuning in. It's been a busy week in archaeoscience news, so I thought I would highlight some interesting finds to keep you updated on what is happening out there in our ever-changing world. Now, coming from Science News, um, infrared images reveal hidden tattoos on Egyptian mummies. Uh, the images of eyes, crosses, and more than seven females may change ideas about the practice. Um, so, this article was brought by Bruce Bauer. Um, modern technology is illuminating tattoos on mummified ancient Egyptians that until now had gone unnoticed. Infrared photography has helped to identify tattoos on seven mummified individuals dating to at least 3,000 years ago at a site called Deir el Medina. Archaeologist Ann Austin of the University of Missouri, St. Louis, reported on November 22nd at the annual meeting of the American Schools of Oriental Research that although the identities of these tattooed folks are unknown, artisans and craft workers at Del El Medina built and decorated royal tombs in the nearby Valley of Kings and the Valley of Queens. Until the El Medina discoveries, tattoos had been found on a total of only six mummified individuals over more than a century of research at Egypt, ancient Egyptian sites. But infrared photos, which display wavelengths of light invisible to the naked eye, are transforming what's known about tattooing in ancient Egypt. It's quite magical to be working in an ancient tomb and suddenly see tattoos on a mummified person using infrared photography, said Austin, who along with her colleagues examined the mummies in 2016 and 2019. The research was conducted while Austin was working with the French Institute of Oriental Archaeology in Cairo. The designs and placement of tattoos vary greatly on 13 Egyptian mummies, which consist of 12 women and one man. A female mummy found in 1891 bore the first known tattoo from ancient Egypt. More recently, archaeologist Rene Friedman of the University of Oxford in England used infrared imaging to reveal tattoos on one male and one female Egyptian mummy that is now housed at the British Museum in London. These people lived in Egypt shortly before the rise of the first pharaoh around 5,100 years ago. Of course, we all have heard of Atzi the Iceman's 5,250-year-old body found in the Italian Alps, which displays the oldest known tattoo. Only tattooed females have been identified at El Medina. Discoveries there challenge an old idea that tattoos on women connoted fertility or sexuality in ancient Egypt. El Medina tattoos appear to be more closely associated with women's roles as healers or priestesses. In the most striking case, infrared photos revealed 30 tattoos on various parts of a female mummy. Cross-shaped patterns on her arms don't occur on any of her other dozen tattooed mummies. Austin said several other of her tattoos look like hieroglyphs used in ancient Egyptian writing. The extent and range of body markings on this woman suggests that she may have been a religious practitioner of some kind. Another El Medina woman had a tattoo on her neck depicting a human eye, an ancient Egyptian symbol associated with protection, as well as tattoos of a seated baboon on each side of her neck. Discoveries of tattoos on additional Egyptian mummies may help researchers figure out how these markings were used. Everything about the new tattoo discoveries is surprising because so little is known about ancient Egyptian practice. Um, where did the technology come from? Well, probably since the creation of ink. I'm sure that before humans had realized they could embed ink in their skins, they were merely painting their faces with pigments that they found. So this would just be another example of um, ancient humans using the methods of nature to create as much art and symbology as they could. It's a very significant find. So just another example of how um, science is now finding ways to uncover more about the ancient past. I'm sure more mummies will be scanned using this tech and we will um, um, most likely find some really interesting things. Please go to ancientamnesia.com for more information. Go to our Ancient Amnesia discussion group to join the conversation and Ancient Amnesia on Facebook to join more like-minded people. 
please stay tuned and we'll see you next time.